Hello everybody, how y'all doing today? It's I'm doing very well. It's uh, a little bit windy again here. Yeah, wind had picked up. I know that we're supposed to be getting a couple of low pressure systems through the area. Um, and by next week for Halloween, it's kind of up in the air what sort of weather we're gonna have, whether it's gonna be um, really, really chilly or if it's gonna be warm. So we're kind of staying tuned as to what's going on. Even for this weekend, I know it's supposed to be kind of a big um, Halloween party weekend and everything um, we're not entirely too sure how it's going to be so we'll see what happens <laughs> especially now that the winds are already picking up it's like hey but in a way you know what I don't mind in so many ways I miss fall weather um, you know I'm a fall baby and I'm from the east coast on top of it so I'm used to four seasons so I, I really love uh, feeling this weather it's absolutely wonderful so so anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this reading. First up is a Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us. First card from the bottom of the deck is the number 39 card. That's the 3-9 card, the Moth Spirit. Surrender now. Okay. Uh, second card from the top of the deck is the number 10 card. That's the 1-0 card, the Buffalo Spirit. The Abundant Universe Will Provide. Okay, and the last card, also from the top of the deck, the number 22 card, that's the 2-2 card, the Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusion. I know this card pops up quite a lot, so, and it's understandable because as we're going through and doing our inner work, you know, facing our fears, you know, um, uh, watching messages like this, whether it's mine or somebody else's or, or what have you, yeah, one, one way or another, truth does come out, okay? All of that added up to eight, all about that uh, prosperity, okay? Today, I was called to the Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. All right, first up, uh, from uh, this is a three-card spread. First up, from the bottom of the deck, the number 44 card, that's the 4-4 four, four card, Seek Beauty, okay? All right, so uh, the uh, second card from the top of the deck is the number 45 card. That's the 4-5 card, Empowerment. All right, and the last card also from the top of the deck that is the number 38 card. That's a 3-8 card, Acceptance of Love. All right, that added up to one all about the new beginning, it's new, um, basically new spiritual prosperity, and all adding up to nine, definitely ending up cycle. I was watching um, uh, um, and the, the, there's, a, there's somebody that I follow um, over on YouTube. Uh, her name is uh, Mary Jo Cranmore. Uh, she goes by MJ a lot, okay? Um, her first name is actually Mary Jo. It isn't Mary and then Jo, you know, first and middle. But anyway, um, her, her uh, YouTube channel is Soulful Revolution. And I was watching, she uh, started putting out the uh, November readings for each of the individual zodiac signs. And you can watch them according to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, whatever resonates with you, basically, within your birth chart. Um, and, but of course, typically, you know, sun, moon, rising, but as far as the others are concerned, it, it just depends. Um, but I was watching the Scorpio reading this morning, uh, which is my sun sign and spot on basically, um, what she was talking about. I think it was that one. It was either that one or the daily tarot message. I can't remember which, uh, I think it was the Scorpio one, but she was definitely one way or another. She was uh, talking about ending of a lot of cycles, um, couple years, you know, ones that were shorter term, you know, like maybe a few months or what have you, a couple years. Um, and I think it was the Scorpio one, if, I, if, if memory serves. And the reason why I think that is because of certain things uh, that she was talking about with it, with um, going back 15 years, what was happening 15 years, and the, fa um, the fact that there was um, 
uh, repeat uh, because she was uh, basically talking about the Pluto transit with the fact that it had been in Aquarius and just in Capricorn and briefly earlier this year it was um, back in Aquarius basically months between March and I think July if I remember correctly I either June or July you know so what was happening during that time and you know, as opposed to when it had happened 15 years ago and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I, I see that. And then, of course, 25 years ago, and I was just like, yes, definitely, with things that I'm going through right now and so forth, things that just out of the blue, more or less, I've been revisiting. So, yeah, um, it's it's been... We're definitely seeing ending of quite a few cycles right now, especially right now with um, these eclipses that um, that we're in the middle of right now. Of course, Saturday we had the lunar eclipse that's going to be happening with the full moon. So, um, and then of course with with uh, um, North Node being in Aries and everything, a lot, of, and of course Chiron um, being in Aries right now also. A lot of transformation, especially, of course, being in Scorpio season, Scorpio being all about transformation, everything, a lot of healing about the self, transformation about the self. Basically, healing to transform the self is what I'm trying to say. So with 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 relation to numerologically, definitely, that, that definitely re resonates, okay? Um, and basically what, 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 the, what the cards, what this is telling me in relation to all of that and, and so forth, you know, it's, it, it is important to realize what the truth is, okay? And what that truth is, is be surrendering now, okay, to seeking beauty and being acceptance of love instead of being somebody who um, is constantly seeing the negative side of things you know like oh this is such a terrible job you know this and that and so on and so forth take it as an opportunity seek the beauty in it okay seek the positive side of things yeah we're all always having to be doing something that we don't like that it's like the old saying goes you know the grass is always greener well guess what the grass isn't always greener there's going to be positive and negatives in everything okay i know one of the questions that i get all the time with my ride sharing work that i do is oh you know how long have you lived in vegas how long have you been doing the ride sharing oh you must like it and everything and it's like you know it's like i always tell people there's positives and negatives in everything so which is it that you're going to be looking at are you going to keep looking at the negative side of things or are you going to seek that beauty and be acceptance of, of the love be acceptance uh, be be accepting of the positive things that are actually are coming out of it yeah like i said there's going to be negatives in it no matter what there's going to be things about it that you're not going to like there's but no matter wh how much you try that's part of the growing process is to see the things that that you see are negative that is triggering you okay and to learn from it okay yes you might be in a toxic situation with your job but there is a positive side to that the fact that you are learning to recognize to see that toxicity and how to respond not only how to respond to it but also how to grow from it Perhaps, okay, learning how to deal with it until you can move on to something else. Maybe it's it's teaching you that may, it's maybe that sort of situation, obviously that situation is not good for you. <laughs> but to maybe help you see where it is that you should be going. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, and I could use myself as very good um, situation, you know, like with my last job, very toxic and so forth. The last 15 years have been really t kind of traumatic and so forth for me, um, especially career wise. But it's through those experiences that I'm seeing where it is that I'm wanting to go now. And that's the direction I'm heading. And I've been a lot happier because of it. And what that it does with surrendering to all of that okay to all of those realizations that truth and so forth being acceptance of love and so forth it helps to empower you okay so in that way the abundant universe can provide all right 
All right. I know. Big message there for such a little reading. All right. If you like this message, please hit that like button. If you like the content coming out of this channel, please um, uh, subscribe. Hit those notification buttons so you know when new uh, videos are coming out. And also, please share these messages. All right. Love you all. Talk to you all tomorrow.